Have you seen this kind of footage before? Mm, that makes sad, doesn't it? Mm. Have you ever considered going vegan? I didn't eat meat for five years. Oh, time, wow. But not fully vegan. Okay. okay. What yeah. do you think would stop you from abstaining from supporting this, this industry? Better diet. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's very cruel, it's very inhumane. Um, you know, lab testing on animals is is seen as being necessary in the in the creation and implementation of new medicines, but the reality is that, that nature has the foundation and provides us everything that we need in order to have the fully sustainable medications that are not harmful to man. And so um, animal testing and just even especially the way that, that the animals that they feed us are treated mm -hmm. because you're eating that and all that bad karma and all of that hate and all of that all of that neglect mm -hmm. goes into the food you eat and everything we eat becomes the cells of our body right know? right I mean, becomes we're a made resting place for the dead right dead animals. because the, right. The, that houses our energy mm -hmm. you know and then so that should be should be pure or else we are gonna suffer we're gonna suffer all kinds of diseases, early death. We're gonna die before 120 years old, guaranteed. Yeah. You know, I had an ancestor who that I know of who was 132 years old. Wow. You know, that's recorded and documented, and that was long before, you know, our our, our common ways of industrial food production, mm -hmm. which is very not only unhealthy to humans and inhumane, but is detrimental to our environment itself right and yeah. even the way we farm a lot of those nitrates and things are making it into the oceans causing dead spots along the along our coastline yep. Yep. and our mother earth is is a living breathing entity of which we are parasites living upon mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. so yeah so what do you so think really would keep we, you from uh, going vegan I'm, I'm pretty close right now <laughs> right excellent excellent what do you think is the biggest obstacle for you? Um, I think the biggest obstacle for most people, they might think is the price of food because, oh, because, sure. Cost because these processed foods are, are very convenient and cheap and easy to produce, but mm -hmm. they contain all of the harmful ingredients and additives and, and these non-food right. substances mm -hmm. that are being declared as food when they're really not. Right, right. You yeah, know? you look in the grocery store and the cheapest foods are actually the produce department stuff. Can of beans is way cheaper than you know meat. And you get still get all the protein. You get all the you know healthy yeah. nutrients out of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, some of the poorest countries practice a majority plant-based diet because it's all they can afford. You know, right. it's much easier to harvest something that grows out of the ground or falls off a tree than it is an individual's life. You have to oh, yeah. feed, give it water, yeah, and shelter. The, on the tertiary and system, the plants are the highest. They derive their energy from the sun, and right. we take it directly from that. Yes. We get ten times more energy than we do from eating that cow, mm -hmm. in respect to the amount that's used from the sun. Nice. Right. Sound like right. Smart guy, you know, you know so, all this stuff. Oh yeah. So it sounds like you already have the uh, understanding morally that you know you don't want to contribute to this. It's just a matter of yeah, changing I, the I habit. Yeah, it's uh, social conditioning. Right, that, that right. Sometimes we become used to a lot of certain ways which are um, unnatural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And it's unnatural for us to be conditioned to a society of um, you know that's bred by by these hateful acts rather than acts of love, generosity, kindness, you know, yeah. morality, virtue, uh, yeah. things which, are, you know, all are inherent to all people. All people understand what they are. The, the person who steals from the store knows that he's doing wrong when he does it. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not something that's, that's like you have to teach somebody even, really. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we all see this and we have a visceral response. You know, biologically yeah. we don't. We don't want to consume products that, you know, involve this kind of torture and mutilation of right. a sentient being. Sounds like you're a very smart, compassionate guy. If I gave you some information, would you consider sure, I'll look, checking I'll it look out? Sure, it. Right on, right here is a 22-day guide to help you try veganism for all 22 right. days. It's gonna give you a free mentor if you want it, and it'll let you know all the ways that you can still keep eating It'll the same stuff you do now. The addictions just, of society. Yeah, 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 exactly. Right on. <laughs> well, it's good blood, talking to you. You know, once an animal tastes blood, then he's kind of vicious. And, uh -huh. You know? <laughs> yeah. What's your name? My name's Justin. Jackson. Per nice to meet Jackson. you. I'm Jackson. Nice, nice to meet, meet you, you, Justin. Yeah. This is my wife, Tara Bouvier. We had the Emerald Cup.